We're coming to you from Tampa Bay, not too shabby of a deal. I am joined by Captain Rafa here. Captain, you brought us out on the water because we're talking about a boat club and how easy it is for people at home to get out here and do exactly what we're doing right now. So tell me about this process, tell me about this club. What have you got for us? We're pretty fortunate to be in one of the best destinations on Tampa Bay. It has the largest private beach that's claimed on Tampa Bay, and we just happen to have a 22 boat fleet at this location. 22 boats, and when you say fleet, you're saying not just fleet for you to enjoy, people at home can take advantage. How's that work? How's this club set up? Well, normally we have eight to 10 new members that sign up for a club and they pay a one-time initiation fee, which is a lifetime membership. Okay. And then after that's accomplished, then they just pay a monthly fee and they have unlimited access to this location as well as 12 others that we currently own. I was gonna say the exciting thing is we're down here at your Ruskin location, which is a beautiful marina with the private beach that members get access to, but there's several other places in Tampa Bay that people can take advantage of. There are, uh, we just added a brand new one called Rick's on the River, on okay. the Hillsborough River. Yeah. Popular destination for a lot of people. So popular we decided to put another boat club there. And that currently will start with eight new boats until we build the membership. Again, eight to 10 new members, we buy a new boat. We also on interior Tampa Bay have the Harborage Marina in St. Pete and Hula Bay has, by the Gandy Bridge, has another location which is a huge Tampa location with over 25 boats there as well. Well let's break it down a little bit. The Freedom Boat Club, you talked about the one time lifetime membership fee and then you pay a monthly fee but that gives your members, they can go to any of these marinas and get boats whenever they want without the cost of the upkeep of a boat. Correct. We kind of pride ourselves in saying we're about 25% of boat ownership. So normally people have to care for their boat, right? Yeah. It's $11 a foot on average to be in a high and dry. Hmm. So the average 25 foot boat is over $300 just for a monthly fee to keep your boat garaged, so to speak. Wow, and that's, that's let alone not talking about the time that it takes. Like you said, the upkeep, the cleaning. I mean, you hear these horror stories in a beautiful place like this where we live, this is an easy way to do it. Our dock masters are great. It's kind of like a valet service. They okay. greet you when you come in. They load up all your gear, coolers, fishing gear onto the boat. Make sure you do a quick checkout. The boats are in the water, ready to go. You don't have to worry about them starting. A lot of people that are in the high-end drives so use their boats 11.7 times a year. Uh. Not that I've done any research. <laughs> so they're always worried about whether the boat's gonna start because it may have sat for a month. Mm -hmm. Not ours, they're well-maintained, they're ready to go. So you load up, off you go. You come back after a full day, the same guy is greeting you with a cart, taking all your gear off, rinsing down your fishing rods and beach chairs. You pay for your fuel and off you go. So you get to enjoy the boating lifestyle with none of the maintenance and time. Well, thank you so much, Captain. I mean, he brought us out here. This is beautiful. If you want more information on the Freedom Boat Club or anything else you see on Tampa Bay's Morning Blend, just go to our website, tbmorningblend.com. Happy boating.